Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. I am Toy Nuts. Today, taking a quick look at Finnick Shan from the Star Wars Black Series by Hasbro. Uh, really great figure. She's just now starting to ship. Uh, glad I was able to pick this one up. Uh, packaging is really nice. She is listed as being under the Book of Boba Fett as opposed to the Mandalorian. Uh, so they brought out a Boba Fett green coloring for the border on the figure packaging. As you can see on the side, uh, we've got the black and white uh, illustrated image of Finnick. Uh, that, that fades all the way down into the uh, green. Uh, I really like this type of packaging, better than the solid black and orange. Here's the back of the packaging. You can see the uh, close-up image of the Phoenix Shan image on the side. Uh, she is listed as number one for the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, they give the brief description, uh, just the generic, you know, being one of the best fighters, bounty hunter, mercenary. Uh, really great figure. Cannot wait to rip her open. Let's see what she looks like. Here she is out of her packaging. Uh, she doesn't have much for gear. She's got her helmet, her uh, sniper rifle or assault rifle, however you want to call it. Uh, she has the uh, skirt piece. Uh, great coloring. I mean, you know, matches the show perfectly. Uh, awesome digital scan for the head sculpt. Awesome paint apps. They did a great job on that. Uh, just a really well done figure, but that's typical Hasbro. Uh, the, the rifle I do like is a very soft, pliable, uh, poppable off sling. It, so easier to display that way. Uh, the helmet goes on and off very easily with no major issue. The helmet fits pretty well. Uh, it's uh, soft enough plastic that it, there's no real difficulty putting it on the head. Uh, it, there's also a little flexibility so you can pull it down just enough to so you can see through the uh, eye slits just a bit. Uh, really good job on that. I uh, don't really have any major fears about it causing too much paint rub or anything, but uh, still I think with the uh, good job they did with the Digital scan, I don't think I'll be displaying her with the helmet on. She can get into a pretty good sniper pose. Uh, the ponytail is a soft enough plastic that it can be moved so it will not get in the way. And I don't feel like there will be any uh, problems or issues with it breaking or causing too much stress. If I do have one complaint about the figure, and it's not really the figure, it's the accessory, it's that gun. It is a softer plastic and it, it just warps a little too much. Uh, I mean, it, it's easily bent, but overall, can't really complain too much. Like I said, they did a really good job with this one. i also a big Men Now One fan. Uh, they, they captured the, the sculpt and the likeness great. Uh, that digital paint app that they're doing now really brings her to life. Just love this figure. Love the character. I'm glad we were able to get it this quickly. Okay. 